But it's hard enough to, as a woman to ask. So what do we do? We play doormat and we don't, well, not necessarily doormat, but we play victim and we don't ask for things. And then we're exhausted that I'm doing everything myself and he doesn't ha- help around the house. Oh. And so she just remains exhausted and tired instead of asking for what she wants. Now, when you're honest enough to ask for what you want, your partner can either decide to say yes or no, Mm -hmm. but he also has to be conscious and aware of his response. Okay. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. And many welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill. And today I am chatting uh, to uh, Tracy Zimmerman Jacobs. Zeman. 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 Oh, rhymes with semen. Correct. <laughs> and uh, don't get confused by the two. Yeah, they're yeah. not the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Tracy is an intimacy coach. Yes. And the reason why I wanted to have you in the show because I'm always talking about sex on my show, mm. but I know nothing about it. So I'm like, let me get an expert. And here we are. Well, well, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, what is the difference between an intimacy coach and a sex therapist? Good question. Well, an intimacy coach is really um, all about the um, intimacy in a relationship. It's more of a positive look at um, connection yeah. in the relationship. Whereas sex therapy some ca- sometimes can be a little bit daunting, yeah. especially for a male. He thinks that there's something wrong with me. We now need to go and see a, a sex therapist. Yeah. Whereas intimacy coaching looks at how can we get this couple to connect more. And there are some very exciting and new ideas about connection. Yeah. And what are some of those uh, exciting ideas that you've uh, uncovered since you started your practice? Well, um, we talk a lot about in my sessions about real issues. Not that sex therapists don't, but um, I tell my clients that we talk about intimacy and everything to do with intimacy. And um, we talk very openly about things like masturbation. About the oh, penis. that's my favorite. <laughs> or you guys. <laughs> um, about the penis, the vagina. Um, Sorry, I'm going to be like a high school kid every time you say all those words. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, for a lot of people, um, those words are quite shocking. And it makes them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. But when we are looking at intimacy within relationships, the couple already are coming here with a, already they are uncomfortable in their relationship. Usually the communication is broken down and they can't even talk about their sex lives. They've never spoken about their sex lives. Um, So we need to actually break open the seal and so to speak. (laughs) And um, not pop her cherry. (laughs) But we need to really unzip that bag and take out what has never really been spoken about. Yeah. Actually, you're quite right because I can't remember the last time I actually had a conversation with my girlfriend about intimacy. It's always like wham, bam, you know? Let's do it. Let's get it. I hope you say thank you, man. (laughs) (laughs) I do. I do. What are some of the type, some of the clients that come to you? Like, what couples are we talking about? Are we talking about couples that are going through a tough time in bed or just, you know, some couples that are just curious and want to explore more about their bodies? Unfortunately, the majority of my clients are those who um, haven't been intimate for a very, very long time. They haven't been having sex for a long time. And um, intimacy is really not about sex alone. Intimacy is also about... Oh, just to just to uh, pause there. Uh, ghost ladies at the gate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's call... Um, let me call her. Tell her to call. Oh, yeah. 
So yeah, uh, you were talking about some of the clients that you get. Yes. Mm. So um, a lot of the clients are in sexless marriages. Uh And there are a lot of reasons for that. Mm. A lot of that is about no communication. And they find it very hard to talk about sex. They find it very hard. (laughs) (laughs) You naughty boy. Do you get a lot of black clients? A fortune. You are. What? Wow. Kidding. A lot of black clients, Indian. um, Yeah, there's a lot of mix, but I find, yeah, a lot lot of black clients and Indian clients are coming. Yeah. So I come with my girlfriend. um, Mm. What's the process? Because I see over there you got the will of consent. Yes. Is that part of um, something that you go through? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So basically the will of consent in... um, a very brief explanation is about when you give to your your girlfriend it's got to be with the right intention when you receive from her it has to be with the right intention often if she's receiving from you sex she is running an agenda in her head so she's thinking Oh, I've put on weight. I don't want him to touch me here. I don't want him to touch me there. Oh, he's. Oh no, he can feel my fat. Is that true, ghost lady? Wait, I just actually, I want you. I'd like you to elaborate more on the um, receiving sex when you say that. What do you mean exactly? So, all right, let's talk about a massage. Okay, if we may. Okay, so let's say I'm. Therapist, no, let's say I'm the client and I go for a massage. Okay. And I have a male therapist giving me the massage. Which I prefer. <laughs> Don't be all tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> and um, so now I'm lying on the bed and he is giving with intention, right? His intention is to heal me. He's not running an agenda of. He wants to make love to me. His is to heal me. But as I'm lying there, vulnerable on the bed, half naked, um, I'm not receiving with the right intention. He's got the right intention by giving. You mean the the, the The masseuse masseuse now? Okay. And I'm running a whole lot of thoughts in my head, Mm -hmm. which is stopping me from actually receiving with intention. So as I said before, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to touch my fat. Oh, he's going to see my cellulite. Oh, I hope he doesn't, um, Mm. whatever. And so we're not actually in a proper mode of receiving. Oh, I get you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not in the right state of mind. Correct. Now let's turn the tables. All right. And now you've got a male client Mm -hmm. on the bed and a female masseuse. He's running his own agenda as well. She's giving with intention of healing. And he is thinking, if this could go further. "Mm, I wonder if I'm going to get a happy ending. Mm. Oh, she's hot. Mm. Um. I wonder how she'd feel if I lean over and touch her leg. Mm. You know, he's he's not receiving with intention. So what you're saying is that uh, during the uh, sexual intercourse, uh, the, the state of minds have to be willing to receive and give. Correct. So we all have to be Correct. aligned. So aligned. I'm going to throw oh. a spoke in the wheel again. Okay. We you're right, because eh? sometimes you just yeah. want to bust one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the intention? Then? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a uh, in order to be um, present, you have to be conscious. Okay, so this is what I try and instill in my clients all the time: is to be present and to be conscious of what you're doing. Now, here's another example: women in particular find it very hard to ask for things. Mm. So, honey. Please, can I have a cup of tea? Now, honey, often will say, no, I'm not, I'm, oh, babe, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. The man 
sometimes will be honest enough to say, I don't feel like it, I'm tired. But it's hard enough to, as a woman to ask. So what do we do? We play doormat and we don't, well, not necessarily doormat, but we play victim and we don't ask for things and then we're exhausted that I'm doing everything myself and he doesn't ha- help around the house. Oh. And so she just remains exhausted and tired instead of asking for what she wants. Now, when you're honest enough to ask for what you want, your partner can either decide to say yes or no, mm. but he also has to be conscious and aware of his response. Okay. Swap it around. You've got a serving wife, one who needs to serve all the time. If she's not in the mood to make a cup of tea, and he says, babe, please make me a cup of tea, she might just do it because she's used to doing that, doing it all mm. the time. But if she was really honest and conscious and she was exhausted... She would have said no. She should say, sorry, hon, mm. I'm too tired. Mm. Maybe next time. Mm. And he has to be able to say, okay. That is about... Another type of receiving, <coughs> excuse me, another type of receiving and another type of s- well, serving with intention, receiving with intention, giving, taking. It's about being honest. It's about communication. It's about um, am I prepared to do this? Am I getting stuck in a pattern of behavior that doesn't serve me? Mm. Mm. So that's really, and then take it into the bedroom women often don't ask for what they want mm, that's mm-hmm. right. my woman does it she has too much actually. <laughs> <laughs> Good on her. Actually, like he's saying now don't you aren't you finding more clients or that actually women complaining that they're not getting receiving enough Absolutely. from the men and they are vocal it's Very just that the so. men are not listening and i'm finding that the black women yes. are wanting more okay they are saying i want to be touched like this uh, i want to be touched like that mm. i want more intimacy mm. and these guys are going i don't get it what do you mean yeah St- and then stop telling me what to do so how do you I'll resolve y- such so it's it's um it's very difficult with men who are quite traditional yeah who think that it that yeah came too fast <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the vendor. <laughs> um, you know they 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 don't realize that women now have a voice, mm. and women are educated. They see that from magazines and movies and things like that. That women are coming into their own. Excuse the pun. And they are really wanting to be equal in the bedroom. Mm. And it doesn't mean that they are sluts. Mm. In fact, I have a, um, um, what's a, you can edit this, aren't you? Yeah, no, don't stress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you call it? An acronym, acronym for yeah. slut, yeah. which is sexually liberated, up thinking, no, uplifting, no. Upward thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> upward thinking. Yeah. Okay. So it's sexually liberated it upward, upward thinking, thinking woman. Nice. Um, these women are sexually liberated and they're upward thinking. They want more from their relationships. So um, the men are battling because they're stuck in tradition. Mm. Tradition of power. Mm. And... What I've experienced is that black men don't really know their way around a woman's body. Mm. They don't have the time. They Mm. don't give women the time to explore the body. Um, Foreplay is not really on the agenda. Mm. Foreplay is is really... It's it's foreplay for them is a little fiddle, fiddle, yeah. fiddle. fiddle. Okay, now I'm turned on. Okay, climb on. Yes. Do yeah. do the dirty and 
get off. Mm. Um, and just because she might be lubricated because you just fiddle, fiddle, how do you, fiddle. How do you deal with a client like that? So let's say I'm like that. What's the first step of redeeming myself? So the first step is to um, make you aware that times are changing and that women need more. Okay. And that to help you look at it was fine for your father, your grandfather and his father that and women didn't have a voice in those days and they just used to lie back yeah. and take it. Yeah. Mm. But now you're going to get into a power struggle with your woman because gotcha. she's not going to be happy anymore. Let's talk about masturbation. Because uh, in my 20s, I was a chronic masturbator. Mm. Um, is there too much masturbation? Is there such a thing? Yes. For real? For sure. Uh. Those... And what, the, what would it cause? What would happen if there's well, too much? Well, firstly, you know, you could become addicted mm -hmm. to masturbation. And then we call you a sex addict. Mm. Okay. And that is a whole different talk in and itself. If, 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 okay, for to be a sex addict, mm. at what range of having sex or masturbating or whatever are you labeled as a sex addict? Well, any addiction is about... When your substance of choice, whether it be porn, mm -hmm. um, alcohol, mm -hmm. whatever the substance is, is taking over your life uh. mm. and you're dysfunctional in your everyday living. Without mm. it. Without it. So there isn't oh, okay. a set like if you masturbate three, three times, times a, a day, day, that's too much. No. Um, so I'm safe. If you, okay. if you're, <laughs> <laughs> if you're taking notes for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you were in your 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Loud. yeah. And <laughs> that's when your hormones are raging. And uh, yeah, you, you just want more and more and more sex. Yeah. You want, so um, you're also experiencing your body in a different way. And what was crazy during that time, sometimes I would enjoy masturbating over the actual deed. Absolutely. Does that happen? It can happen, absolutely. You also got, you've got a young what girlfriend. What a waste of rock the girls. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you've got a young girlfriend, um, presumably, mm. who really doesn't know what she's doing. It's completely out of touch with her own body. And it's a bit of a, a fumbling exercise. And if you if you shy about talking about it, it's not exactly gonna help either. So you'd rather just jack one out yourself. Mm. Because you know what strokes to do that exactly. will get you to get um to come. Exactly. Uh -huh. So if the lines of communication aren't open, which usually aren't at that age or stage, it becomes more of a chore to that. The crazy thing that I found is that um, uh, I, 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 I'm more willing to try things out and go to town with like a side chick, someone who's not my girl, you know, where with my girl, it's like, you know, you don't want to be judged. What is she going to think? <laughs> But isn't that where the problem starts, Ish. though? Yeah. That's where the problem starts. When I guess when men think that I'd rather explore outside than try explore at home. Do you get that a lot? Because you fear. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. And that's about vulnerability mm. versus intimacy. Mm. So I'll explain that very quickly. Okay. I mean, intimacy in the beginning of a relationship. If you think about um, how much you get up to in the in a new relationship yeah. swinging from chandeliers mm. you're doing it anywhere you can on the boot of the car in the car um in a closet in an alleyway and you're doing things that even would make these porn stars blush yeah mm. okay yeah. that you're doing intimate intimate stuff together mm. that is really hectic now you meet somebody and you really like her or him. And um, the relationship gets quite serious. Mm. So now you've gone from all that hectic, intimate stuff. And is it because, sorry to disturb yes. you. Is it because there's that element like we're not committing. So you'll never know me that well. So I can do as much and disappear out of your life. Yes. But then as soon as there's that this is someone I want to be with for the rest of my life. So therefore you need to play it safe because you, there's an image that you're thinking I need to uphold. It's not really so much as an image. Mm -hmm. It's more the fact that um, we're getting to know each other more, warts and all. Mm -hmm. And he's starting to see me with my faults, oh. my vulnerabilities. Yeah. 
um, and vice versa. And if she knows more about me, um, she's going to judge me. Mm. She might leave me mm. and vice versa. Mm. Um, if, if she knows more about my dysfunctional family, um, she might leave me. Um, if he knows, let's say, about my abortion that I had at mm. 16, he's going to really turn his back on me and leave. So we mm. shut down the more and more we get closer together, that's called being vulnerable. Mm. So the, more clo the closer we get to each other, the more vulnerable we feel around each other, the less intimate oh. we become. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So the, the, the point is, uh, is to keep talking about the fact that, wow, this is hard for me to share because I'm feeling that you might judge me. But um, I still want to. I still want to have sex with you. Mm. You know, like I hope you don't judge me and look at me differently. You know, she might. He might say, "Wow, you had an abortion at 16. Mm. Gee, I can't look at you the same way." Yeah. Or you know what? I don't. It doesn't change the way I feel about you. Mm. I still love you. Mm. You're still the same person. So there's always that fear that you find out that if, like my father was an alcoholic and he um, behaved this way, that he won't love me anymore or she won't love me or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the stuff that, you know, couples and uh, marriages can do to spice up their life. What is yeah, out there? Yeah. What are the options? Okay. So We've got anal. Yeah. No? Okay. I know that this is not <laughs> what you're going to want to hear. <laughs> No, it is what he wants to hear. <laughs> no, well, what I'm about to myself. tell you yeah. Yeah. is not what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. We're let's let's hear it. Okay, so look, there are the toys that you can use without a doubt. I mean, toys are great. Um, lingerie, dressing up. Um, those are great things to use in the bedroom. But that's after we start having sex. Whoa. Mm. You know, you've got to get the couple to start having sex first. Ah. ah. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, we've got to break that barrier and how we do that is... Um, do you want to take your call? Someone's calling. Thank you. Yeah. This is my client. Sorry. Oh, it's your client. Hello? Yes. Can you just ask them to wait in the car and I'll come and get them in about... 15 minutes yeah 15 is fine yeah no, whatever questions you have you must get them out now <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll save thank your marriage you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> well let's save your relationship first <laughs> I'm locked in don't worry about me <laughs> she's loving right? <laughs> yes 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 um, we're breaking the barriers okay alright yeah. so so um, toys are great and they're fun after you've got back on into the saddle, so to speak. Um, and I'm going to talk about porn in, in a minute. Mm -hmm. Porn is a great, a great uh, starter in this meal because it breaks, you know, it's a, start, it's a conversation piece, okay? Also, we need to break down what porn is. Yeah. Porn can be a big problem in a relationship. Yes. Um, a lot of women are threatened by porn. They feel that um, the husband would rather watch porn and jerk off to porn instead of make love to her. And um, often she's disgusted by what is seen on porn. And yes, some of it is quite hectic. Mm -hmm. um, hectic and X-rated. and But some of it is really beautiful. Mm. You know. Mm -hmm. Also, you've got to break down what happens in that studio. Um, she's bleached from head to toe. Her vagina does not look um, what, like the portrayed, you yeah. know, what other people's vaginas look like. Yes. Um, her boobs definitely don't look what it, like. You know, they done, they silicone, they again bleached. You know, heaven forbid her nipples should be brown. You know, they need to be pink. Yeah. Um, he has been injected or been taking pills the whole day. He's got to stay hard oh, all the time. All the time. She's got to stay stand in ridiculous positions for a long time. And so there's that a lot of cuts. 
you know, so they gotta cut the right because you get a cramp. Cut, 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 <laughs> cut start uh, again, start again. <laughs> oh, losing his direction. Oh, we gotta do something about that. Yeah. Um, it's it's tiring. It's producing. It's making a movie. Mm. Yeah. You know, so if you if you imagine how much time and energy takes, stand this way, lift your leg that way. Hold on, I've got to get the camera this way. People see the end product Thank and you. then base their relationship. Around that. around that and uh, there's a lot of poor performance anxiety both for men and for women mm. when they watch this porn mm. um, it's a good starter for uh, for as I say for couples who want to talk about sex and and look at different positions and so you've got to find the right porn yes. the right movie for the right people yeah um, but as I said we got to get them having sex first and that is about communication. Mm. Often my clients leave here and they say, wow, I didn't realize how much we actually don't talk. Is mm. anal good? <laughs> 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 All right, you've got who? an anal range right here. Good for who, Mac? <laughs> What's your take on it as an expert? <laughs> Look, it's, it's become a very popular um, form of intercourse. Um, and a lot of people are open to it. A lot it's of people are open to it. it. They are opening Before, up to it. I guess it, it was labeled as some just for it's, yes. it's, it's your gay. But yes. now women receive it. They yes. enjoy it. And Correct. Yeah, and yeah. Um, because the, um, the A... Land. We were talking about the um, the G spot. The, the A spot is so close to the anus. Mm -hmm. um, a lot For both of both female and males. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Um, more the more the female. Okay. The, the, for the male, it's about the prostate gland that is stimulated. But for the females, that A spot is so uh, close. That penetration for for, for, for women for now. women yeah it's a you know it's very very um, very stimulating it stimulates that spot and very pleasurable but Tracy, I, I have no sensation back there no 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 <laughs> uh, where exactly no, I'm back there. <laughs> <laughs> where were the A spot the G spot <laughs> which spot <laughs> say that uh, the the this, the the G spot being now behind yes. You know, really, is that is 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 because I always get surprised. Like I mm. know there's yeah. no sensation. Yeah, like, all my feelings are, I guess, in the vagina, the clitoris. Mm. It's good. Mm. Look, it's it's really about exploring yourself okay. more. Okay. Um, also, the best way to feel that is um, riding your man cowboy style. Mm. But, yeah. Yeah. That deep, deep penetration. Mm. In the vagina? Yes. I you know, love that. Straddling him. Yes. And that deep penetration yes. will definitely activate that, will definitely hit that G spot. So it can, the G spot can be hit still vaginal penetration. That's well, what you're saying. It's not vaginal. Vaginal is, um, it's, it's deep penetration, it goes okay. deeper than just. The vulva. Okay. You know, we, yes. we actually now re refer to the vagina as the vulva the in vulva. the proper terms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, vag the vagina is now actually the whole area, the genitals. Oh, the whole anatomy. Well, okay. The whole genit female genital okay. area. Yeah, yeah. And the vulva is actually what we used to refer to as the vagina. Okay. Is it the entrance part? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, also using a dildo. One that is um, with a you know curved. If you if you if you put it in the right direction, um, not a phallic looking dildo. Not a. Um, I've lost my words. Like the penis looking one. Yes. Okay. But the ones that have that rounded edge, it's actually quite uncomfortable. But if you isn't position it, isn't it, it for actually the for for clitoral stimulation, that curve that you're just well, you're going to insert it very far in, yeah. And that little hook, sort of, 
that if you insert it f- far enough mm-hmm. will actually reach the G-spot. Yes. And there's a very different orgasm that wow. you get. That you get. Ex- ex- when you're riding on top, yes. yes. From I- I- that deep penetration uh-huh. that you feel the G-spot has been, oh my God. Yeah. This is during intercourse with the dildo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or with a man. But or with a man when you're <laughs> riding him on top. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. They also say that um, doggy style also... Um, in, you know, you can reach the G spot that yeah. way, but a lot of women find um, doggy style very sore mm. because of the, you know, you slamming against the cervix, mm. and you know, I often look at these women in these porn shows yeah. and they they're going ah ah <laughs> ah, and I'm I'm sure she's saying yeah. ow exactly. ow because it's you know hey stop that Tracy you're turning me on <laughs> hey, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a minute? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I go back in time, the <laughs> twenties. <laughs> Shit, man, we don't have much time. Um, yeah. Can we definitely have you back? I think. Oh, please. I love this. My yeah. favorite subject. Yeah. Talking question. about sex. Can yeah. I have a, a squeeze in a last question? Yeah. Sure. yeah. I'd find, I, I find that, you know, yes, there was a time that we're having sex in the pool, the mm. Napa, all over the house, wherever. Mm. And then now it's like if there's periods, right? Yes. Like now I'm in a phase where it's like I just enjoy sex at its simplest. Yes. The bed. It can be missionary position. It is fine. Mm. And going back to, and I find it like quite empowering that because sometimes we get into our minds where we say we have to do the extremes in mm. order to achieve this orgasm. Whereas sometimes the simplest sex can, you get there and Absolutely. it's so beautiful. Well, where do we get that stuff from? From the movies. Mm. We want to replicate what yeah. we see on the big screen. Mm. This couple madly in love. On the kitchen table. Yeah. We're so uncomfortable. Your back is pushing into this hard surface. So, yeah. The staircase. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you're like, where are you exactly on the staircase? Like, what position are you in? in? Are you taking notes? You know, like the swimming pool. Do you not know that uh, without, lubric- but without lubrication, <laughs> like a nice lube, it's impossible to get that penis inside? Like, you, n- you really need lubrication in water, you know. And um, there's uh, actually something on my, my Instagram or Facebook, whatever it is, that, you know, you need a good lube inside a shower yeah. or in the pool. Yes. Um, these things are just like we try to replicate these amazing sex scenes when really you just got to go back to basics. Basics, mm. yes. You know, that yes. it's, it's quite nice just... No, I wouldn't say vanilla all the time, yeah. but in a nice, comfy bed with lovely sheets and clean. Yeah. Oh, please just take with me back to you basics. Yeah. 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 You know, it's really, uh, But I, I still need your simple. services, nonetheless. Well, <laughs> you can get me on Facebook, um, email. Facebook is, uh, I, you know, I always get it wrong here. Yeah, totally yeah, yeah. me. Here we go. <laughs> Great, thank you. Yeah, Tracy's so got a client now, so that's why we yeah. have to leave. Totally me, Tracy. Um, yeah, I'll put this up in, oh, in, in post production. Yeah, all right, yeah. excellent. But Tracy, so, thank you so much. Thank you. We definitely got to sit together again. Uh, I think it was, this With was pleasure. short, and I think what we'll do next time we'll ask our chillers to send through questions yeah. for you. So we'll definitely organize another time. Uh, but just in closing, I know you want to talk about something that you're doing for Valentine's. Yes. Yes. So on my website uh, and Instagram, Facebook, all my social media. We are having a Valentine's Day. Uh, We'll post a blog about where are the best places to go for a meal. Mm. And also, we we want you to come on, get going, guys. Uh, Valentine's Day is not every day. Mm. It is a special day. So if you're kidding yourself that uh, you do these things every day, you don't. Um, Book your special restaurant and buy your gift, etc., etc. And also, we're going to have a Valentine's Day competition we're giving away a love bag with a few goodies inside and a lube. And we're giving away a spa voucher for mm. you and your mate to oh go nice. for a lovely massage together. Nice. We, which you've got to be willing to receive. 
You got to be willing to receive <laughs> with all good intentions. With all good intentions, yes. The good intentions, good intentions. Exactly. Tracy, thank you so much for joining thank us, you for and we look me forward on the show. To, to to having you again. And yes, I'll I'll get you that vendor man that you want. I know plenty, ne? Thank Are you single, <laughs> Tracy? Yeah, she's single. I am. You're ready I'm to single. mingle. I am. After, s- after so many clients. <laughs> <laughs> They're all married. Are they all married? I don't, don't you want get one who just wants, like, you know what? I just want to prepare myself <laughs> for my next relationship. Listen, I have a lot of experience. Oh. Thank you very much. Hey, no. But um, thank you. Yes, no, you I have, have a lot, lot of, of experience. <laughs> but um, I don't, you know, married men are just absolutely off my radar. Yeah. They don't even, Exist. they're not even attractive I think by the me. time they are here, it's already a problem. So exactly. it's like, exactly. you're turned off. <laughs> I don't want problems, I want solutions. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we are here. Boom. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.